y'all, it's Nona, and today I'm here to do a, another look for my um, Shop My Stash products for this month. Um, I use all of the products that I've pulled, and then I do looks with the palettes, and this month I pulled quite a few. That's, that's a, a you know, I usually pull two palettes. Well, this month I pulled a lot of palettes. Um, they're all from Shop Miss A, and, um, I had people requesting me to use them, um, so that's why I decided to use several of them together. Well, I bought these Princessa uh, palettes. There were two matte ones and two metallics, so um, I decided to do a look with one of each and do two looks, you know, between the four palettes. They do not have names. They just have numbers, so today I'm going to use this matte palette. And I'm going to be using the pinky and purpley shades. And then I'm going to use this metallic palette. And again, I'm going to be using the pinky and purpley shades. So, that is what I'm going to do. I use the pinkier blush um, instead of my Milani Luminoso that I have in my Backups Project pan. And it's a little, it was also by... Um, it is also by Princessa, and I used this one. Again, they don't have names, just numbers, but I used this blush. And it went on low mama, and I had to tone it down a lot with the powder brush. So, I'm going to start out with uh, this matte palette. And a fluffy brush. Y'all, I did not clean my brushes. Are you surprised? Let me grab my color switch. And uh, my nose is itching. Switch this off. So, is everyone ready for Thanksgiving? I'm, I'm thinking this is going to go up after Thanksgiving, but anyways, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Um, we are changing it up this year. We're letting my 14-year-old uh, nephew, he chose the uh, what we were going to have because we're kind of getting burnt out on every year the traditional turkey and ham and all that. And we have that same meal pretty much at Thanksgiving and at Christmas. So, you know, it's like a month apart. And then uh, the rest of the year, you know, that's just, I don't know. So anyways, we decided this year that we were going to let him pick what, what he wanted for the meal. And we're going non-traditional. And he picked Mexican food. So we're having Mexican food for Thanksgiving. So kind of excited, to be quite honest. Um, you know, I still want turkey and all that, but once a year is good for me. So, I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. Um, so, I'm going to take a fluffy brush, and I'm going to go into this shade here. And really, no, no, I dipped right into the blue. Look at that. No, no, no. Oh, my. Oh, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, we're going to dip into this one next to the blue. I need to watch what I'm doing here. And see, I don't like these skinny pans because I got blue on the side of my brush. What is my deal today? What's my damage? <laughs> Let me try to get this really precisely into that pan. <laughs> so, let's see how these bad for the first impression. I don't think that's bad at all. I might have to switch to a smaller brush. This one might be too fluffy. You can never be too fluffy, right? I'm fluffy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all watch him, but, um, Oh gosh, he he's his stage name is Fluffy, and he's a comedian. He's Hispanic. I think he's just so funny. I think his name's Gabriel Iglesias. He's super funny, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy his comedy. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Can I turn around the block real quick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long are you gonna be gone? 
Ten minutes. Okay. Bye. See you in a minute. Ten. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Did y'all hear my husband asking permission <laughs> to go somewhere? <laughs> no, he doesn't do that all the time. He uh, just did that because it's close to dinner time and he just wanted to know if he had time to run down the block to his friends and before dinner was ready. So I like that. Um, now, let's see what we want to do here. For the outer V. I'm going to take. Oh no I'm not doing the outer V yet. <laughs> okay. Um, a shimmer is the darkest. So that's what we're going to use in the outer V. I'm going to take this shade. And put it in the socket. There's some kick up in the pan, but not a whole lot. Um, I'm going to stamp it on first. I find that with cheaper shadows, a lot of times if you stamp the color on and then blend it, it, uh, it works out better. So, we have fallout, definitely. I don't see much. Um, color payoff. But definitely a lot of fallout with this shade. But I think it blended out pretty nicely. I am having to build it up quite a bit. But I'm trying to go with a more lighter hand than I'm accustomed to. I just can't find that happy medium. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fallout. So let me see if my powder brush can get rid of it. Yeah. I don't know. Is that looking muddy to y'all? I'm definitely having to build it up uh, quite a bit. But we'll go with that for now. So we're going to move on to the other eye. So, did everybody shop the Black Friday sales? I did not. <laughs> I wanted to, but just wasn't in the budget. But I'm really enjoying seeing uh, everyone else's haul videos of what they got. I can live vicariously, vicariously through y'all. I really wanted to get um, some palettes from Glamlight and um, BH Cosmetics. That was the two sites that really had me wanting to get on there and buy. But, you know. Okay, so for the outer V, I'm going to use out of the Metallics palette this purple here. This doesn't look very metallic. Um, like, this shade and the green shade look very metallic. This one does. Um, the gold... But these two don't look very metallic to me. Okay, but we're going to take this one in the outer V on my um, crease brush. My eye is watering great. Happens every time, and so it's making a dark spot right there. I 
I'm definitely not the best person to um, tell someone if a palette's good or not because I definitely <laughs> struggle with makeup application. Um, this is totally not building up and uh, it's giving me tons of fallout. Let's see if I can stamp it on. Let's try that. Is that any better? Maybe I just picked a poor color story, you know, that didn't have enough depth. Hmm. Hmm. No, not. Not very pigmented. I mean, I'm really having to work to get any color there, and it's just kind of sticking in one place. So, I don't know how I feel about these. I was, I had high hopes for them, um, but, and I do not mind working with a palette. I love cheap makeup, and I will work uh, with it as long as it takes to get it to, to work, if it will eventually work. And it's finally building up a bit. But it's definitely taking a while. So, okay, we're gonna move on from that. <laughs> Let me just pull it down a little bit because it, it got my eye watering. So, let's just see if that. Yeah, I'll just bring it down a little bit under the eye to kind of camouflage where the eye watering occurred. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to move on. Move on, Nona. Move on to the other eye. And for some reason, my left eye seems to take shadow better and differently than my right eye. Um, and my left eye is usually the one that waters, and today it was the right one. Um, so, go figure. It's looking kind of pretty, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> it's definitely uh, taking a lot to get the color payoff that I want. Um, so, they definitely work better if you pack them on than if you uh, blend on windshield wiper them or whatever you call it. So, okay. Mm, let's do the lid shade. Where is my brush? No. Hmm. No. Okay. I seem to have lost my brush. Here we are. Okay. 
so this is supposed to be metallic and it just doesn't look it but i'm gonna try it on the lid it just doesn't look metallic to me i'm going to spray it with my bolero facial mist in watermelon and sweet mint uh, this is a dollar at dollar tree it is four ounces and it is so good it has a really fine mist and it's so good for fooling shadows foil lean shadows smells really nice um i just i really like them y'all are probably tired of me saying that in every video but yeah this is a. Uh... if this is metallic i'm skinny mini yeah <laughs> what are you trying to do pull here princessa I pretty much think, you know, with any shadow, you can, if you work at it, you can make a fairly decent look. But, you know, you want your looks to be great and, you know, fairly easy to do. Um, but this is definitely a lot of work building shadows. And then still, and then getting all the fallout and have to clean that up. And then still not getting the actual payoff that you want. So, yeah, these are a no, uh, big no for me. I would not recommend these. Now, am I going to declutter them? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I will keep them and get back to them someday. And, uh, so... <laughs> I just do not understand how they can say that that shadow is metallic. It's not even shimmery. <laughs> um, I mean, you could totally use that as a mat, in my opinion. Okay, well, anyways. And we got this shade left, and I'm going to take that on the lower lash line. I'm also going to see if I can blend it into the um, outer V a little bit with this small pencil brush and see what that does. Um, it's, again, it's supposed to be a metallic, but no, 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 it's not. <laughs> it's just not. It's not a metallic. It is just not. No. Definitely not. But. Bleh. Okay, so. I'm watering. I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to run it on the lower lash line. Yeah. And these definitely show up lighter than they appear in the pan. I mean, look, you can barely see that and it's this shade. So... It's strange because I really like their blushes, Princess's blushes. And the wind is blowing, it's getting it out there. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna call that good. Um, for, let's see, the inner corner, I'm just gonna go with this matte white because it's the only thing that kind of matches the look. Hmm. Can't really tell I did anything there. Okay. This look is, um, <laughs> okay, we're going to call that good. Let's put on some liner, and I'm going to use this uh, Super Gel Intense Violet. It's a lip liner by Santee, but um, I'm going to use it as an eyeliner. I just interchange mine. This is what it looks like. That went on pretty nicely. And these were a dollar. Uh, one shot Miss A. I think that really helped out the look. In my opinion. I really did. I think that really helped out. Um, so, I'm going to go off of here and I'm going to put on some of this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'll be back to do some lips. And this is the finished eye look. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> um, but, no. I don't recommend the uh, Princessa. I'm going to do one more look with the other two palettes. Um, but I don't think my opinion will change much. Um, this is a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And I cannot find a name on it. I assume it had a sticker that has came off. So I do not know the name. But it's a really pretty nude. And uh, so. Really creamy formula. Smells good. so smooth going on the lips It uh, is a lot warmer on application. Meatball, he's running into stuff. It's a lot warmer than it looks in the tube to me. Hmm. Definitely doesn't go well with this eye look. <laughs> but, huh. Okay. I don't like that at all. That looks really bad. Um, let's see. Let's pull a... Uh, let's take this gloss. This AOA Lip Pop and City Girl. Let's see if this does anything for it. <laughs> let's put some gloss on. Hmm. 
darkened it some. Did it help? Maybe a little. Yeah, we're done. That's that's as good as it's gonna get. Anyways, this is the finished look. <laughs> if y'all like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.